Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh Message Biology. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, the external genitalia that is penis and its internal structure. External genitalia in human male is called penis. And uh, the penis is made by three specialized connective tissues. The three specialized connective tissues is uh, to upper corpora cavernosa. To upper what? Corpora cavernosa. These are the upper. That means which are present on the dorsal aspect of the penis. Dorsal aspect of the penis has to upper two columns of corpora cavernosa and one lower corpus spongiosum one lower what corpus spongiosum so these two are it is the corpus spongiosum corpus is nothing but the tissue corpus means tissue corpus spongiosum it is a spongy tissue and uh, corpora cavernosa Corpora cavernosa and these three tissues, these three columns of tissues are covered by skin, outer skin is here and in every part of the body the skin under the skin there is a subcutaneous tissues so same type of subcutaneous tissues are present here also so skin and the subcutaneous tissues covers these three columns of tissues so this is the internal structure of the penis and come to corpora cavernosa corpora cavernosa is a very specialized tissue and inside the corpora cavernosa there is so many cavities are present so many cavities are there many cavities these cavities are blood cavities during the normal time these cavities are just empty but at the time of the erection during the copulation time at the time of the erection these cavities are filled with the blood these cavities are what these cavities are filled with the blood like this when these cavities are filled with the blood that penis get erected and it is helpful to inseminate it helpful for the insemination that is the corpora cavernosa corpora cavernosa is the connective tissue uh, which is helpful for the erection of the penis clear and these are present on the dorsal aspect of the penis dorsal aspect of the penis are upper columns or the corpora cavernosa come to the corpus spongiosum in which uh, the urethra is present in which the urethra is present that's why the urethra which is present in the penis is called penile urethra or spongy urethra why it is called spongy urethra because it is present in the corpus spongiosum that's why it is called spongy urethra and uh, this spongy urethra transfers the sperm cells uh, during the copulation time or during the at the time of the insemination the sperm cells are passed through this uh, urethra and uh, this corpora cavernosa helps in the erection of the penis now come to the outer layers of the penis so if it is the penis of course this is what scrotal sac this is the penis and at the end of the penis at the tip of the penis there is a bulbonious projection is called there is a bulbonious projection is present this bulbonious projection is called what glans penis what it is called it is called glans penis so if we want to draw here the glans penis uh, is like this so here the glans penis structure and within the spongy corpus spongiosum the urethra is also present inside inside uh, here it is at the site of the glans penis the urethra also becomes a swell and at the tip of the penis uh, the urethra opens out the opening of urethra is called what 
urethral meters. It is called what? Urethral urethral meters. And it is the urethra, spongy urethra. Okay. And the bulbonious end of the penis is called glans penis. And the glans penis is covered by a loose fold of tissue, skin tissue. A fold of skin tissue which is loose. A loose fold of skin tissue called foreskin. What it is called? It is called foreskin. Or it is also called prepuce. It is also called what? Prepuce or foreskin. So this is the external genitalia structure. So simply external genitalia are the penis and the penis is formed by or it is made by three types of tissues and in that two tissues two columns are present on the dorsal side they are called corpora cavernosa and another one is present on the ventral side corpus spongiosum in which the urethra is present corpora cavernosa is made with a special type of connective tissue with the help of uh, which is contains which contains the cavities and these cavities will fill with the blood at the time of the erection and it helps in the insemination and at the end of this penis there is a bulbonious structure called glans penis and the glans penis is covered by a fold of tissue a fold of skin called prepuce or foreskin so this is the external genitalia in next class we will discuss about um, the accessory glands of the male reproductive system and later i'll uh, i'll teach you how to draw the male reproductive system in the final examinations okay thank you